Hey there YouTubers, so uh, God, I've made a lot of videos with this i9 already, just trying some things out, 70 millivolt undervolt here, and then the rest of this stuff is default, uh, you can see from the score, didn't hit 40, but temps, you know, during that are pretty good. And then running XTU, we got that. So I'm going to use Tom's hardware settings again. And I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit. So 5.6, 4.4, and 1.32. Let's go in here and change this first. And then, oops. These are 56 and then 44 over here. And now we've done this before. So it should still work. I'll punch in this benchmark, see how this thing's doing. Of course, they don't know mention a undervolt there, but uh you know, you may need the undervolt just because of the uh, additional heat this thing's going to experience. So you see 5.61, 80 degrees, and a really good score here. Now, millivolt, or excuse me, the undervolt also uh, kills off this power, right? Otherwise, it would be at like 315, 318. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Now, just for the heck of it, let's cut that in half and see where we end up at. Temps back down. So I am using the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 420 AIO, which is just a total beast. All right, so wow, even a better score. Um, no thermal limit throttling. So depending on what I'm doing, folks, sometimes I find better undervolt. You know, if you don't have a uh, overclock in, sometimes undervolt not only keep the temps in, might improve performance. This, uh, you know, there's obviously a science to this, but I've been amazed at uh, some of these things. Sometimes I come in here and there's some numbers in there that weren't what I last used. And things are even better. Um, all right, so the previous one was a little better score-wise. I think the temps were similar. So we'll go back to uh actually let's just for the heck of it see if forty five is better. Before I go back to thirty five. Now if I was uh Less than patient, I would go five millivolt increments. All right, so that's almost the exact same score. Um, oops, wrong direction. So there's 45, 35, 40 might be, might be the big number. Good thing about charting this, you know, I can go back later and go, okay, that one was the hottest. Run this again. Okay. 
13, 5, 14. All right, 13, 5, 14. We'll do 35 one more time. Just to see where it ends up at. Trying to beat 35, 14. 13, 5, 14, that is, sorry. And we did not. So, interesting enough how this works out. All right, so we'll stick with this. Now, I want to slowly build up this uh, these overclocks. Oops. We know we can probably get away with at least three of these. And the score was less which always amazes me. But if we get eventually all of these, I wish I had this uh, CP cooler sitting outside. Like I'd like to put it in my window. It's really cold where I'm at right now. All right, one more try before we do all of them. 37. At some point, this thing will probably wig out on us. 13. Okay, so there is potentially a new high score. Um, that said, folks, I'm kind of curious what that equates to. Here, we should be over 40,000. Let's go ahead and try it. Forty thousand eight three nine. Um, I haven't had the CPU that long. That may be the highest I've had. I'm gonna write that down. So we have forty eight thirty nine. At least I think I'm gonna write this down. And then the XTU score, folks. Thirteen seven four eight. Those are the best. Now, go over here, and hopefully this thing will be stable. Um, I didn't even check to see how hot it was getting. 91, right? So, that's a little scary. We may have to further our undervolting. And it actually probably should have stayed where it was. Um, and tried to undervolt it. So sometimes this program will crash. Won't crash the whole computer, but it'll crash XTU. Ooh, all right, fourteen oh five seven. New record there. And I'm going to come in here because it's, it's time to go back a little bit more of an undervolt. See if we can get that 90, 90 degrees down a little bit. Yeah, something amazes me about these CPU coolers like this one doesn't have the lowest 
pimp when you're sitting there just idling. But doing these benchmarks, it does. Wow, so that was a significant drop off, folks. We were at 14,000 and dropped back down to 13,999. Um, so 40, let's try 45. Maybe 40 is a number for this CPU at least. Thirteen seven one eight. So that did not help. Yes, my CPU is getting tired, folks. Too much bench pressing. Um. Three twenty one. Holy cow. Which one's that? That's the most I think I've noticed. Um, turn this again. You can just hear those three fans cranking. 13, 4, 8, 9. So... Whatever reason we've lost something. I don't think I messed with anything else. Um, one of the things I had on here was like a 58, two 58s here, 43 here. And I think these were all 56s. And it's just killing it in Fortnite. Like that's the best combo for Fortnite. And that's really what I should be looking at, like finding the best Fortnite combo. These uh multi-core benchmarks are one thing, but gaming, um hitting something good in gaming that works out is another story. All right, so let's see if we can beat this. Cinebench R23 is a little more consistent than, uh, yeah, there you go. 41,253. So, folks, now the question is, can we bump up the efficiency course one more time? This kind of scares me. This might not be a good idea. I don't think we can get any more out of the performance course. Except for, you know, doodling with a couple of these guys. Alright, let's see if this will uh, crap out or not. So not a bad score, not our highest. I do believe, folks, this will translate into an even better score in Cinebench R23. We're only hitting 90 here, so Cinebench is uh is probably gonna be 94, 95. All right, let me clear this out. Set that up so it's ready to go. All right. Ninety 
96, 97. Whoa. There's like a little glitch there. So this is about as good as it's going to get, folks. Um, and we have we seem to have found that undervolting more is not going to help. Now, the question is, do we have an even higher score? And we do. That was my highest yet. Now, the real question is, do I want to go any further with this? Do I value my CPU? Um, I think I do. So we probably will call it on that. Interesting, though. Um, I didn't even see what our temps got up to. It's so over here, 90. Over here, we saw 96. And if I undervolted it more, I don't know that uh, we'd get much more out of it. So I'm going to call it on that, folks. I'm going to set this thing back to where it was. It's 54. Oh. Let me screw that up. And then set that back. There you go, folks. Um, oh, yeah. Put this back where I had it. That is, uh, that's my highest, uh, Appears to be my highest benchmark, Cinebench R23. I'm sure people have done a lot better, but uh, that's as far as I want to go. So, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.